Hello and God bless family in Christ. Nice to have you on board. God bless you and your families. Is my sound loud and clear? Let me know if my sound is loud and clear. Give me one in the text so we can start today's live show. Hello, Lily Liliana, Phil Herrera, John Howe, GDR, Red Mouth, Aaron Staley, Marion, Daniel, LOTV Gaming Debating Editing One. Gaming and One, thank you. Evelyn Hartanto, Andrew Martin, God bless you. Natalie, all of you, if I forgot to mention a name, forgive me. I love you all. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching. Let us start today's live show, guys. Let us start today's live show. Let us do a nice prayer like always, guys. So we're going to ask our Lord and Savior to be guided through today's live show. Pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, please give me the courage to overcome lies, taqiyya, and deception. Help me not to lean on my own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, Lord, so that you can direct my words, thoughts, and actions. Lord, give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give in to discouragement, deception, and doubt. Please, Lord, help us honor you in all our ways. Lord, thank you for your grace, and because of the ultimate sacrifice of your beloved Son, we are saved. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Please loosen my tongue today, so I can speak without any error, but with truth, wisdom, and courage, to do whatever needs to be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. God bless your families. On this live broadcast today, we will have the opportunity to investigate the lies of the Muslim apologists like Ali Dawa and his hero, Ahmed Didad. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching today, we will have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat, like always, right? About today's topics. In other words, you can ask me questions about today's teaching or you if you have any difficulties in answering questions when you debate Muslims we will try to answer your question as far as I can guys if you have question please write it down so you will not forget it and please ask me the question in the end of our teaching so when the Q&A session starts because I cannot answer and um, teach at the same time right guys so Hopefully, we'll have also a Muslim who will call us live on Skype for a nice and respectful discussion. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. So hopefully, we'll have an Ustaz who will call us so we can have a nice debate. So let me start my Skype ID. If the admins, uh, please. Let me know if there is a Muslim who wants to call me, okay? Highlight my name or send me uh, a message through Skype. So we will call him or he can call us. So my Skype is open. So let us start this live show. A lot of people now maybe have heard or have read what Muhammad Hijab said two days ago. He is trying to have a debate, so he wants to debate with someone and he's giving a couple of names for people to vote. So, you know, this guy wants attention, but we all know he will never ever debate somebody like me or Christian Prince because he knows what will happen to him, huh? Mr. Muhammad Hijab. So he's playing taqiyya, he's playing deception, and you know, here he puts... Christian Prince, he calls him Christian boy. Uh, you know, this guy, he wants to show you that he is tough. Um, you know, he's really a, a very smart uh, apologist and he's using all kind of uh, 
nice words when he's debating, you know, and he always come with a nice suit. But why are you trying to mock him, man? Who are you calling a boy, man? At least show some respect. Our dear brother in Christ, Mr. Christian Prince, is spanking Islam for more than three decades. More than three decades. And no Muslim till now could have destroyed him. I mean, how many times have you heard Christian Prince saying, if a Muslim, one Muslim can refute me on any topic when it comes to religion, or, you know, his speciality is Islam, especially Islam, He's going to shut down his YouTube channel and he will never ever do a live show. So maybe maybe you're the Muslim hero after all, Mr. Muhammad Hijab. Right? So if there are Muslims who wants Christian Prince, his YouTube and his teaching to be shut down, vote. Don't vote for this guy. You know, this guy is now 47%. Who is Majid Nawaz, man? Who is that guy? Who is this guy? So, Muslims, if you want Muhammad Hijab to debate Christian Prince and take him down, vote for, the nine, for more than 19%, man. What's wrong with you, Muslims? Who's, Ma who's Majid Nawaz, man? Have you, guys, have you ever heard of Majid Nawaz? I didn't. I don't know who this guy is. Seems that uh, Muhammad Hijab wants to debate another Muslim. Christian Prince is doing so much damage. And he's doing this for 30 years. He has tons and tons and thousands and thousands of videos. Why don't you why do you want to debate a nobody called Majid Nawaz? Right? Christian Prince is reaching all the corners of the world with his books, with his amazing teaching. Right? Yeah. So he wants to uh, debate a fake Muslim? <laughs> A guy who's doing uh, bid'a. You wanna, you know, you wanna debate a fake Muslim. So, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, be a true Muslim. Pick up your keyboard, install Skype, and call Christian Prince and take him down, man. So, you know, this is a game, guys. He will never, ever, ever debate Christian Prince. This is a game. This is taqiyah, man. This is pure comedy. This is pure taqiyah. Muhammad Hijab just wants attention. That's it. Right? Right? So, I wanted to mention this to you for the people who did not hear or see this thing that is going on now. Right? So, I voted for Christian Prince. So, I hope... The, he will have the courage and the knowledge to face Christian Prince, you know. I mean, David Wood spanked him, and they were the Muslims who were there sitting, they were <laughs> clapping for Muhammad Hijab, who said, Allah is praying for Muhammad. And he said, Elijah means God with us. Right? And they were clapping. Right? So let's see if you have the courage and the knowledge to face Christian Prince that you call Christian boy for a debate. I mean, we are always live. Maybe if you are scared of Christian Prince, you can call me. Maybe Ali Dawa can call me, right? But we know it's pure taqiyya. You will never ever call a, an Arabic speaking Christian. You know what will happen to you. So it's taqiyya. Right. We smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them, said one of the Sahaba, all right? Trying to act tough, trying to be nice online in his YouTube videos. But we know deep inside you curse us, right, uh, Muhammad Hijab? Taqiyya. Lying and deception, right? So, like I said, guys, today is about Ali Dawa, exposing Ali Dawa, and especially his hero 35 years ago Ahmed Didad. you know what happened to Ahmed Didad, right guys I have to keep drinking guys you know I want to get rid of my ear infection that is affecting my th throat and slowly getting better guys keep praying for us keep us in your prayers please so we'll be recovered very soon <clears throat>
So you will hear me drinking during the live show today. So bear with me. So Ahmed Idad, in front of everybody, he said, if I'm lying, may God silence me. And a couple of years later, you saw what happened. He was on his deathbed for a long time, silenced. But, you know, I'm not going to speak ill of this man, you know. Back in uh, 35 years ago, you know, he was earning a lot of oil money. He was a millionaire, right? He didn't speak Arabic. He's from South Africa, right? He didn't know Arabic. And I'm not trying to speak ill of this, but this guy is dead, right? But since Muslims st still quote him, st still they are uploading his videos, we have to, so now and then, show you his lies and taqiyya and deception right we have to refute him because muslims today still are using the same tactics that ahmadi dad used so we have to go back and show the muslims that this guy was nothing but a deceiver and a liar and back then there was nothing called internet the islamic books were not online we didn't had access very easy as today and internet is the biggest weapon it's a nuclear weapon against islam right in 2019 the internet is islam's biggest we weapon against islam right so actually it's good that we can find videos of ahmed idad so thank the lord we can have access to his videos that are everywhere online to show the muslims that this guy is nothing but a lie using all kind of uh, word games, silly games to, you know, for his own personal agenda. So let us start with Ali Dawa. Let us cook him, spank him and serve him for everybody to see. And today you are my witness, guys. Let me show you the taqiyya of Ali Dawa. Let me show you his taqiyya, right? Let me show you his taqiyya. Let us start. I dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put it down to a side. That glorifies Jesus like we do. I dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put it down to a side. That glorifies Jesus like we do. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? Let me scroll back. Guys, I can't stop playing this video you know I mean I, I really played this video like more than 10 times already but you know this is a really big bust guys pay attention what Ali Dawa the nurse of Muhammad Hijab is saying pay attention he shall glorify me I dare you I challenge you he's challenging a single religion put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do that glorifies Jesus like we do you Muslims glorify Jesus <laughs> You Muslims glorify Jesus? When did that happen? I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put it down to a side. You filthy liar. Glorify Jesus like we do. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, right? He glorifies Jesus the more than the Christians do. You heard the Abdul, right? Beautiful taqiyya, right guys? <laughs> Muslims glorify Jesus more than we do. But if we go if we go back, we understand that glorification, right? Alhamd is only for Allah. Quran let me go there. Quran chapter 1 ayah 2. Alhamd lillah. Uh oh. Alhamd lillah. Not for Jesus, right? Muslims. Lie to Ali Dawa. Ya Ali Dawa. Huh? Ali, uh, did you become a Christian, Ali Dawa? No? Can we call you a Christian now? Because you clearly said, and I quote, and you're speaking for all the Muslims, and I quote, we Muslims glorify Jesus more than you do. Hence, i.e. Christians. Right? Ali Dawa. So, can we call you Ali Christian from now on? Right? We can call you Ali Christian, because you're showing us and you are lying about Allah, you are lying about your Prophet saying that 
الحمد الحمد لله All praise, the praise is only for Allah Right? They say when we ask Muslims, what do you say? They say, we say Alhamdulillah Can you say Alhamdulillah Yesua? Can you say Alhamdulillah Yesua? No You can't in Islam because that's shirk, right? That is shirk. Let me type it for the people who are maybe blind. I mean, in this case, the Muslims. That's shirk. So, Mr. Ali Dawa, when you say glorify, you glorify Jesus more than the Christians. That means you're a better Christian than me. I mean, welcome to Christianity, Mr. Ali Dawa. Welcome to Christianity. Guys, we have hope for Ali Dawa, don't you think? Automatically, yeah, Murtad. Yeah, he, he, Ali Dawa just became an apostate, guys. If you didn't share the, this video, guys, that I just played, if you didn't share it, share it for, to on social media. I mean, come on, man, help me to help you, right, guys? Let me give you the link. Share it everywhere. This is the original video that I created, right? So I gave you the link in the live chat. It's very short video. Right? It's like two or three minutes long, not, not very long. So share it everywhere because this guy has more, almost, or I think last time I checked, more than 300,000 subscribers. 300,000 subscribers. I mean, if I made such a blasphemy like this guy did, and we just showed you the, the blasphemy, right? He just called Jesus God because if you say, Alhamdulillah, Yesu al Masih, right? Glory, hamd, is for Jesus Christ. That means you are worshipping Jesus. Jesus is your creator, Ali Dawa. So help me to help you. Share the link, please. With your friends and on, on social media, right? Imagine if I said that about Muhammad, guys. Imagine if I made the same claim about Muhammad. How many subscribers would I have now? I think not many Christians will still watch my live shows. Nobody would have ever taken me seriously. So why is this guy having 300,000 subscribers? Don't ask me. Right? Don't ask me why this guy is still being followed by so many people. 300k subscribers, guys. <laughs> you know what Muslims, uh, some, one Muslim, you know what he said about my video? The video that I just played? Rob Christian? You are jealous of Ali Dawa. Yeah, I'm very jealous, man. I am so jealous of this Ali Christian now. That he has 300,000 subscribers. Stupidity. You know, you can only find that in Islam. I'm jealous, guys. Because I'm spanking this good dude, I'm jealous. Imagine, guys. That's the Muslim way to deal with Ali Dawa, his shirk. <laughs> You're jealous, Rob Christian? <laughs> Ali Christian, yeah, that's his new name, guys. Ali Christian. <laughs> Man, really, guys, every time I, wa I watch that video, I, you know, I can't stop laughing. I can't help myself. It's too much fun, right? It's too much fun to expose these Taqiyya people, you know. He wasn't the first, and he's certainly not the last. Because that's what Ahmadidad used to do 35 years ago. He used the same daqiyya, same games. Right? Because, don't forget, when they debate Christians, they will, whenever they can, they will use taqiyya because debating is war. You're going... In war with Christians, jihad is also debating, right? So they will use taqiyya, they will smile in the Christian faces. He'll be in my team, right, GP? I really hope, I have high hopes. Since he said, uh, we glorify Jesus more than you Christians, I, you know, I have hope for Ali Dawa actually to become a Muslim one day. <laughs> so, you know. It is what it is. Let, let me play another video, guys, and try not to laugh at the stupidity of Ali Dawa. Okay? Let me play another video for you. I will put up my headset. So I hope you are using headset too, so you can hear him 
loud and clear and focus with me on what he's saying okay let me play that video for you so here in this video guys this is Ali Dawa who I think made this video and there's a Christian preacher coming at his door preaching about Christianity right so he says but actually it means to lie if life is threatened Let me and then it says, there doesn't exist the religion in the world that believes in lying to promote its beliefs. Yes, it's Islam. There's only one religion, right? There's only one religion in the world that has the concept of taqiyya. It's in the Quran. It's everywhere, right, guys? It's everywhere in Islam. You can lie to your wife. Your wife can lie to you. You can lie in war. And debating is war, right? And the proof is in front of you because we just showed you how these people lie. So let me play this video further. Listen, guys. Except one, Islam, yes. <laughs> so as you he read, guys, a pastor is coming, you know. No, matter they say. no this is a Christian most, pastor. Most, 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 most people like that. Most, what I'm so, saying, what, what I'm saying. So, no, you, you know about that, don't you? No, 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 but most, you, you said. Do you know about that, yes or no? Do you know about, about Christians? The killing, about the killing in France. Do you know about the killing in the central Nigeria? No, 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 no. Central no, Africa? No, no, answer, if you answer my own force. I know about the killing. Okay, all right. Do you know about the killing that Christians did? I, I agree. Yeah? So, yeah, m many fake Christians killed humans. Are, is everyone who says I'm a Christian a true Christian? No. Jesus himself said, some people will say, Lord, Lord, but they will never enter the kingdom of heaven, right? Right? They'll call up upon the, upon the Lord, upon Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. But it's only words, right? A, a true Christian acts like Jesus, right? He listens to the commands of Jesus. So... You know, but Muslims actually kill millions and millions and millions. What about the the Jews? What about the Hindus that were killed? More than 80 million Hindus killed by Muslims. And we know why. Because Muhammad said so. Go kill the unbelievers if they don't accept Islam. If they d convert or else. Aslim fataslim. Convert or else. Muhammad himself sent a letter to the Romans. Convert or else. Right? So let me continue, guys. No, but you see, it wasn't Christian who did, but even forget about it. But you said this is but, how we people yeah, are, so yeah, you said because, all because, Muslims yeah, are killers. Uh, those who kill the Christians. No, no, that's what you kill. said. Yeah, I'm not disputing. Okay, if you're not disputing, I, I, can you open no, first Samuel the, chapter the 15, verse 2 to 3, where it says, kill men, women, to, children, and babies and donkeys? God told but, them to do it. Oh, but where? All right, that's a book of terror because show me a verse in the Quran where it tells you to kill you are, babies you are, and you are, children. You are judging God. Moses. It is in the Quran. Guys, he's quoting. He's quoting the book of Samuel, right? Let me play Moses, a, Moses. Moses. a little bit please, further. Please show me. Just a second. Moses, let's talk. Let's talk with terms. Yeah, I'm just being respectful. Yeah, you said you people are like that. Like we Muslims are killers. Yeah, I'm telling. Okay, I'm, I'm telling. You evidence. Okay, okay. My evidence. evidence. No, no, no. That's bad people. Yeah, we don't. There's no way in the to, bad, okay, bad people. Okay. There's, <laughs> bad there's no people. way in the Quran it tells us to kill innocent people. Right. But in your book, you liar. Liar. So he's quoting here the book of Samuel, chapter 15. First Samuel, chapter 15, verse 3, right? So, guys, this Abdul, this Abdul, he truly have, has no shame, has no honor. Why? Because here is why. The same, the same attacking of the Bible is in the Quran. Muhammad copy pasted in the Quran, where he's commanding in chapter 5, Surah Al Ma'idah 20. 221, where Allah is commanding the Jews, this is about the Israelites, right? Enter the Holy Land, right? So Allah is commanding the Israelites, the Jews, to enter the Holy Land, which Allah has assigned unto you. So clearly Allah is the Zion, Zionist. He is the number one Zionist. He is commanding the Israelites to enter the Holy Land, right? And then turn not back, for then you'll be overthrown to your own ruin. So basically, you are a munafiq, you are a hypocrite, according to this ayah, if you don't enter the promised land, the holy land, and if you don't kill the pagans, 
And if you go back, if you don't stay there, right? If you don't stay there, you are a hypocrite. You are, a, you are not even a, a true Jew, according to this ayah, right? And then if you continue, it says, they said, O Moses, so the Israelites saying, O Moses, in this land are a people of exceeding strength. Never shall we enter until they leave it. If they leave, then shall we enter. But among, but among their Allah-fearing men were two on whom Allah had bestowed His grace. They said, assault them at the proper gate. When once you are in, victory will be yours. You see? So the same, Mr. Ali Dawa, the same verse that you are attacking, right? The same verse that you are attacking in the book of Samuel is in your Quran. <laughs> you see, it's in the Quran. And he said, show me where the Quran is saying to kill innocent angels. Well, here it is. Go attack them, right? Enter the Holy Land. And if you don't stay as Israelites in the promised land, you're hypocrites according to Allah, right? Right? Assault them and victory will be yours. So why are you being a murtad? Why are you... Ali Christian, Ali Christian, speaking from cave, Hira, 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 Ali Christian, Christian, why are you being such a munafiq, hypocrite, 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 Iqra, Iqra, in your Quran, Quran, chapter 5, Al-Ma'idah. I hope Jibreel will squeeze him and tell him, hey, Mr. Ali Dawa, it's in your Quran. <laughs> guys, guys, this is the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 15, right? If you read it, it's talking about the Amalekites, right? And the Amalekites, guys, the Amalekites were constantly, sorry guys, uh, the Amalekites were constantly attacking the Jews, right? They were constantly, the moment the Israelites went from Egypt to the promised land, immediately the Amalekites started to attack the Jews. And guys, don't forget, don't forget, in the Old Testament, the Israelites under the Old Covenant, right? God chose the Israelites to be His people, right? God, for some reason, chose the Israelites to be his people. And when you are calling them yourself as God, their father, their heavenly father, you're going to protect them, right guys? Are you with me guys? Please pay attention. Please pay attention. Are you with me? Give me one if you're with me. So they started immediately to attack the Israelites and the Israelites are the people of God. Of course, God is going to protect them, else the Amalekites will completely annihilate the Israelites, right? These people are pagans. They are worshippers of Satan, basically, right? So, and th th this, this did not happen just over one night, right? God did not immediately say, go and annihilate them. No, this happened over 400 years, guys. Over 400 years, right? Over 400 years, over 400 years, Mr. Ali Dawa, God commanded um, He commanded over 400 years, God gave the chance to these Amalekites to stop attacking the Israelites, but they kept doing it, and their sons will do it, and, and their grand-grand-grandchildren will keep attacking the Israelites. So after 400 years, God decided enough is enough, now you have to go and annihilate them, right? Right? And at that time, guys, Jews were under the Old Covenant, and that was only with the Israelites, right? So the contract that God made was only with the Israelites and 
only with the Israelites. And they had also mosaic laws, a law system, a law and punish system, right? If you don't follow these laws, God will punish you, right? So, you know, Muslims, why are you coming up with this nonsense to Christians? We Christians are not under that old law. The Old Testament is a symbol. We use the Old Testament as a symbol for the coming of Christ. We go back to the Old Testament to see the prophecies about the coming of God in the flesh, i.e. Jesus Christ, right? So why are you? Go to the Jews. Don't come to us, <laughs> right, guys? Go to the Jews. Go ask them why their God commanded them to completely annihilate the Amalekites. And like I said, guys, the Amalekites were not wiped out over one day or over one night. No, God gave the Amalekites more than 400 years to repent, right? And they didn't. They didn't repent. For 400 years, they kept attacking and kept attacking. But, you know, enough would be enough, right? So God commanded the Israelites to go and annihilate the Amalekites. Right? He commanded the Israelites to, to finish it because, you know, these people will not stop. Their children will not stop. Yeah, so ELH, exactly, Rob Christian, Abdul must ask Jews. Yeah, why are you coming to us? <laughs> we are not Jews. We are not Israelites, right? We are not under the old covenant. And the proof is in front of you, right? We are under the new covenant that was promised to us, right? It was also promised to the Israelites that there will be a new covenant with all mankind. The first covenant, the first contract was only and only with the Israelites. But when Jesus came and it was prophesied in the, back, in the book of Jeremiah that there will be a new covenant, right? If I'm not mistaken, it's in the book of Jeremiah, right guys? Can you confirm? Someone in the chat, please confirm. So, you know, they can't say Rob Christian is lying. So, the new covenant is promised to all mankind in the book of Jeremiah. And this time not with the Israelites. No, it's this time it's with all mankind, right? So, Muslims, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Mr. Ali Christian, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Right? Why are you talking with a Christian about the annihilation of the Amalekites, go talk about this with the Jews, with the Israelites. We are not, we were not under that old covenant. We were not under the old laws because Jesus fulfilled the old covenant and he fulfilled the Mosaic laws, right? So why are you such hypocrites? And why are you such a hypocrite, Mr. Ali Dawa, when that command was given by Allah in the Quran. Muhammad, actually guys, Muhammad copy paste from the book of Samuel. Muhammad is copying it and he's putting it in the Quran, chapter 5. Right? From verses 20 all the way ila akhir al ayah, right? In the rest of the ayahs. So it's in chapter 5, Mr. Ali Dawa. Allah is commanding the Israelites to enter the Holy Land and start killing the Malikites left and right. So why are you such a hypocrite? I, you know, guys, you see, you see the taqiyya, you see the ignorance. <laughs> so Mr. Ali Dawa, Mr. Ali Dawa, why are you such a hypocrite liar? Why are you using lies and deception, using something that is not for the Christians? It was in the time of the Israelites and the Israelites alone. We are not under that old covenant anymore, right? We are not under that old covenant anymore. Mr. Ali Dawa. And we told you before, guys, in an earlier live show, that, you know, according to Islam, you are allowed to use taqiyya and deception in war. And we know war, when they go jihad, they also use that. Lying, taqiyya, they also use that in their debates. And we just proved it to you, right? 
Yeah, it's uh, Ali Dawa actually is suffering from Abdulism. It's a disease that eating your brain cells. It's a tissue eating disease that we call Abdulism. It eats flesh. It eats brains, right? So Muslims will use taqiyya, right? Deception, art of war, and their debates with Christians. They go and talk about the time of the Israelites where we are not Israelites. We are not under that old covenant anymore, Muslims. So why are you coming with us? So guys, please, guys, please help me to help you. The people who are listening, are you with me, guys? Don't feel attacked when they mention the Amalekites. Don't feel attacked. Don't, uh, you know, don't, you know, don't be shocked. It's not for you. It's not for you. You are not under that old covenant. You are not an Israelite. You are you were not under the 613 mosaic laws. So why are you getting stressed? Don't get stressed because I see a lot of people in the comments trying to address it and you know this and that. Don't don't do that. Right? Don't do that, guys. Help me to help you. I am teaching you how to deal with this. I am teaching you to how to deal with this. You, you know, when they are asking you this thing about the Amalekites and how the Amalekites got annihilated by the Israelites, it's not for you. You are not an, for, like I said, you're not an Israelite, right? You're not an Israelite. And you're certainly not under the old contract, the old covenant. And you are not under the Mosaic laws anymore because you are a follower of Jesus. Hence why you are called Christian. You are a follower of Je Jesus Christ. Glory to his name. You are not under the Mosaic law. So don't start to feel stressed when they bring up the Amalekites story. It's not for you. Tell them to go back to the Israel. Go to a Jew. I'm not a Jew. You are not a Jew. Right? So let them go to the Jew. So don't. Give them too much attention when they bring up the Amalekites. Because it's not for us. It wasn't for us. We, we were not there. Right? Christianity came much later when Jesus said, I did not come to abolish the law. I came to fulfill the law. So guys, this is that you have to follow. The second one. You are under the new covenant. Right? It was said, an eye for an eye. Attack your enemies, destroy your enemies. But now we are saying to you, Jesus teaching, love your enemies. Pray for those who want to persecute you and kill you. Right? Don't hate. Love. Here was a different time. God here was protecting his people from people who wanted to annihilate them. I.e. the Amalekites. But here we are not commanded to go on offense. Yes, you are allowed to do defense. I mean, defense is biblical teaching, but we cannot go on offense, right? When someone wants to come to your house and he wants to kill you and your family, make sure to, you know, defend your family and yourself, right? It's biblical, but we are not under the old covenant, Mr. Ali Dawa, Ali, I'm sorry, I meant to say Ali Christian, right? Mr. Ali Christian, huh? <laughs> These people, man. You see? Pure taqiyya. So guys, I hope today you took notes. Help me to help you. Don't get stressed. Don't try even to answer the question. Just say, if you have a problem with that, go to the Jew who is under that old covenant. We are, it's not for us, right? So don't try to go to the Bible and teach them and no, oh, this, this and that. And, no, guys, come on, right? And on, on top of that, give them the ball back. Give them the ball back because it's in the Quran. He said it, right? Ali Dawa, you heard him. He said, show me where Allah is commanding the Muslims to kill innocent people. Well, it's in the Quran, Abdul. Allah is commanding the Israelites to go and kill innocent people, innocent women and children. Go at
attack them, the victory will be yours. Assault them. Right? You see it? It's in front of you. Take notes. Chapter 5, I, uh, 20 to, let's say, 24, 25. 24. Right? I hope you took notes. Let me give you the link, guys. Start reading from 20, okay? Start reading from here. So you will understand that this is in the time of Moses. So we just showed you guys that these people are actually bankrupt. Ali Da'wa, Muhammad Hijab, all these Muslims who love to quote Old Testament verses, especially about the Malachites, these people are bankrupt. It's not for us. Go, go say that to a Jew, man. We are commanded to love our enemies. Right? And we always ask Muslims the one million dollar question. Did Muhammad kill any women or children? Did Muhammad kill any women and children? Scholars, the Muslim shiuch in Islam will say, no. Speaking from cave, Hira, Hira. Did Muhammad kill any women or children? Children, children. The scholars of Islam will say, no. Zakir Naik, brother. Brother, did Muhammad kill any women and children? Zakir Naik will say, no. Brother, are you sure, brother? Yes. Uh, Zakir Naik, Ali Dawa, are you sure? Yes. Is it no or yes? Rob Christian, the answer is no. Stop confusing me. <laughs> okay. So are you sure? No. Uh, yes. Is it a yes or a no? Muhammad did not kill any women and children. Okay, okay. So are you sure? Yes. Okay, you will get one million dollar if you are correct. So make sure to give me the right answer. Yes, Muhammad did not kill any women. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, so the answer is no, guys. Okay? Let us see if Muhammad actually killed women and children. If we go to the hadith, this is Sunan Ibn Majah. Let me give you the hadith, guys. Bookmark it, save it. Help me to help you. Use this. Whenever they talk about the killing of women and children, give them the hadith. Give them chapter 5. Right? Let me scroll back. It was narrated that Ibn Abbas said, the cousin of Muhammad, guys. This is the, the cousin of Muhammad talking. It says that a Sahabi said, the Prophet... Allah is praying on him. We don't know why Allah is still praying, but Allah is praying to who we don't know. Anyway, let it go. <laughs> the prophet was asked about the pagans. Guys, pay attention. Are you with me? Pay attention. The prophet was asked about the pagans, the polytheists, who were getting attacked at night. So the Muslims, the Sahaba, the companions of Muhammad were attacking the pagans at night, right? And their women and children are killed. Uh oh. Do you see it? The women and children are killed. Muslims, what did your shiuch say? No. What? No. You said no, right? And what did Muhammad say when he was asked? Muhammad replied, they are from among them. Do you see it? So keep killing them because these women and children are from the pagans. Keep doing it, says Muhammad. Bam! Iqra, Muslims! Iqra, Iqra, Iqra! It's in your Sahih Hadith, Hadith! Guys, some Muslims will say, well, Sunan Ibn Majah is not as strong as Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Well, I have a surprise for you. Here is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number 1745 Sahih, 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 speaking from Kif, Hira, Sahih, 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 Muslim, Muslim. Hadith number 1745A. Let me give you the link. It's reported in Sahih Muslim too. You see it? Muhammad was asked about the killing of women and children of the pagans during the night raid and Muhammad said they are from them do you see it Muslims do you see it right maybe this is big enough for you Muslims
Maybe you, you are seeing this. They are from among them. Keep killing. Keep killing. So Ali Dawa, what did you say? Let me go back. What did Ali Dawa say, guys? What did Ali Dawa say? Let me go back a little bit. Talk, let's talk with terms, yeah? I'm just being respectful, yeah? You said you people are like that. Like, we Muslims are killers. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yes, okay, you I'm are. Your, your okay, prophet was a killer. Evidence. Of no, women no, no, and children. That's bad people, yeah? We don't. There's bad no people. Way in the Guys, you heard him. He said, that's bad people. So your prophet was bad, right? Your prophet was bad when he ordered the killing of women and children, right? <laughs> right? Your prophet was bad. Thank you, Ali Dawa, for proving that you're a, a Christian. You're calling your prophet a bad man for killing women and children. Commanding his companions to kill women and children. Congratulations, Mr. Ali Dawa. You just called Muhammad a bad man. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, this is so much fun, guys. I can't help myself, man. This is too much fun. Right? Do we have any Muslim? My Skype is open, man. Help your brother Ali Christian out. Oh, wait. Ali Dawa is out of Christian uh, Islam. <laughs> He just called his own prophet a bad man. Guys, let me continue. <laughs> Muhammad is a bad man according to Ali Dawa. Okay, okay. okay. There's, there's nowhere in the Quran it tells us to kill innocent people. But you filthy liar, it's there. <laughs> Chapter 5, <laughs> verses 20 all the way to 23, 24. You liar. <laughs> you filthy liar. Did you hear it? You filthy liar. And not only that, even the hadith says so, right? Even the hadith commands you to kill women and children. Muhammad said so. Not me, your prophet said so. Right? This is Sahih Muslim. Right? Yeah, you really think, guys, that we are still not immune, exactly Emmanuel Shahid, he, Ali Dawa thinks that Christians in 2019, that we are still not immune for taqiyya and deception. Well, Ali Dawa, when Rob Christian, when Christian Prince uh, is awake in the morning, we always eat seven ajwa. When we eat seven ajwa at breakfast, we become immune for black magic, poison, and we get the extra because you know we are people of the book we get the extra that we also become immune for taqiyya and deception so your taqiyya in 2019 it's not working mr ali christian right your taqiyya mr ali dawa it's not working anymore stop using taqiyya it's not working anymore right Yeah, you're trying to be nice, using deception, and you're... But in your, at the same time, you're cursing us in your hearts, right, Ali Dawah? This is why you repeat the curses of Allah, chapter 1, ayah 7, 17 times at least a day, right? You're being a nice Muslim, right? Hadith is da'if? <laughs> he just called... Are you calling this hadith a da'if, Mr... Uh... Abud, this is not Daif, right? You see, this is Sahih Muslim. <laughs> this is Sahih Muslim. <laughs> Daif Hadith, guys. Yeah, it's not working anymore, guys. It's not working. Your taqiyya is not working. Let me play the video more, guys. Let me play the video more. But in your book, we, we but, but, but Moses, in so your here book, is talking about the Samuel 15 verse 2 to 3. It says, go to the Amalekites yeah. and kill men, yeah. women, yeah. children, babies yeah. and donkey. I'm yeah. asking you, what did the yeah. donkey do? Well, what, what did the donkey what do? God, God is uh, supreme. 
No, no, no. He's suffering. Okay, where in the Quran does it say that we should kill babies and children? Chapter 5. No, show me where. No, no, where does it say that? <laughs> exactly. What about Al Khudr? What about Al Khudr? talking nice to you. Say, you, oh, you know the Khudr story too, right? So in two places. What I'm saying to yeah. you is the truth is always bitter. Yes, your true colors came out exactly. when you said that. No. So I, I, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. The true yeah. taqiyah came out. Yeah. Yeah. True. They don't want to hear. Yeah. Ali Christian, no. yes, true. I agree with you. Whatever anybody says, and people say a lot of. Yeah. yeah, the story of Al Khadr yeah. in no, the Quran. Have seen anybody who gets a dagger yeah. to kill because no, no, they can't. Now, He's a messenger can, of God as well. They can kill people who kill. Let me tell you, it's yeah. from their heart. Exactly. Example, then why did you say you're all the same to me? Yeah, why did you say? If, if I have an evil heart, yeah. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, it's not exactly. Like Jesus Christ. Exactly. But it's to do with my heart. If I have, so when a, if so when a Muslim is evil. But when a Muslim does it, it's his religion. Evil. But when it's a Muslim, it's his religion. Yes, no, 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 it is in your books, no, as we showed you. That's uh, Sahih Muslim, yeah. Quran, chapter 5. No, ah. They were defending what about, Muhammad. What, what about Central they Africa? They, they, claim... shouldn't, they shouldn't say something like that. No, no, but Muhammad. in Central Africa. In Africa, you're, you're the, the ones who are doing the slavery, right? You started the slavery. All sorts of things about Jesus. Don't even go there, Ali Dawah. When he was going to be crucified, when people were doing all sorts of things to him, when Peter got the spear. Yeah. I cut off the ear of one of the people. He said, come on, don't do it. Yeah. Islam, Islam is peace. Yeah, coward, yeah, gazab and gazab. We will go to Luke, don't worry. We will go to, to Luke. He's mentioning this in, in, his, in this well, YouTube video. Yeah. We will go there, don't worry. We are not afraid to answer. Open Luke chapter 19 verse 27. What does it say there? Yeah, tell me what it says. Open no, it. You, you heard him, right? You open Luke. No, you tell me what it that, says. I'm going to address that. Luke chapter 19 verse 27. It says, uh, if you open it, something to do with Jesus saying, um, the, um, get your uh, sword out. Let me hear you. Luke yeah, 19. Yeah, okay. Go and buy a sword, yeah. Okay, ah, so go and buy a sword. No, not buy a sword. Not uh, buy a sword. Uh, those who don't, have, those that, who, yeah, he said. Ah, those, those who, who do don't have sword. No, those who don't don't follow me. Bring them here and slay them. Luke nineteen. Okay, you heard him, right, guys? Right, you heard him. And this Islamist beast in sitting in the in the chat, Abdul, call me. Yeah, coward, I've been coward. Yeah, Jaban, I've been Jaban. Call me. My Skype is open, man. My Skype is open, guys. Here, let me show you. My Skype is open. Call me, man. <laughs> Coward. It's easy to sit in a chat. Well, guys, he's talking about Luke. This is Luke. We're not afraid to go to Luke. This is Luke. Here is in front of you. This is chapter 19, right? Chapter 19. Chapter 19. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Is, 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 is the screen... Clear enough. Let me spank this Islamist piece in the chat and let me spank Ali Dawa. Let me make it a little smaller. So, okay, now it's good, right? So, this is Luke chapter 19. Let me read it. Islamist peace. If you have any dignity, Islamist peace, I'm talking to you in the chat. If you have any dignity, you have any honor, and if you have any shame, you will listen carefully. I'm going to spank you. And I'm going to spank your hero, Ali Dawa. All right? Pay attention. Luke 19, King James Version. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Guys, pay attention. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. So this guy was very rich, right? This is Luke 19, right? And he sought to see Jesus, who he was. And could not for the press because he was little of stature. Guys, pay attention. Don't forget about Islamist peace for a second, guys. Because this guy is now going to change topic. You see, he's changing topic. Abdul means slave of. Continue the sense you're Arabic expert. I never claim to be an Arabic expert, Abdul. I never claim that. And you want to change topic now, right? You want to change topic, yeah? <laughs> you see, guys, this guy is a coward. He is he's the one mentioning Luke, and we are addressing Luke. Now he wants to change topic because he wants you to keep attention to his lies. Changing topic. Don't, guys, forget about this guy. Concentrate. This is Luke 19. We will go to everything that you say today. We're going to spank you. We already spanked Muhammad. We spanked Aidawa, and we will continue doing so. This is Luke. So let me continue, guys. And he thought to see Jesus who he was and could not for the press because he was a little of stature. So this person who wanted to see Jesus, he was a little man. He was a short guy, right? And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree. So he climbed upon a tree to see Jesus. 
right? To see him, Jesus, for he was to pass that way. So Jesus was passing the way, and this rich guy was sitting in the tree to see Jesus. He was really interested to know Jesus. Are you with me, guys? Give me one. Abdul, listen. Yeah, Abd yeah Abdul Satan. You want me to finish the Abdul? Yeah, Abdul Satan, because Allah is Satan, right? He's truly not the God of the Holy Bible. So you're Abdul of Satan, i.e. Allah. So let me continue. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. So Jesus looked up and he saw that little rich guy, right? And he said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. So come down is Jesus saying to this person, to this rich little man. For today, I must abide at thy house. So Jesus is saying, I will come to your house. Guys, are you with me? You have to pay attention to know and to learn how to address Muslim attacks on the person of Jesus. Because they are attacking Jesus, saying, right, about the sword. He came to, to sword, with the sword, right? And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. So this little rich man, right, who was a huge sinner, he wanted to have Jesus in his house. So he wanted to have Jesus in his house. And when they saw it, they all murmured saying that he was going to be guest with a man that is a sinner. So the people who were really have no clue who Jesus was, right? Jesus said, I came to, uh, for the lost sheep, right? So Jesus came for the sinners, right? So Jesus wanted to come to his house and the people Right? Spiritually dead people who have no clue who Jesus is. Right? They started to gossip. Look at this guy. Look at Jesus. He's, he's going to visit a sinner? A tax collector? And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods. So he's talking to the Lord. Who is that Lord? Jesus. Glory to his name. Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, says the rich little man. Right? And if I take in anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him for false. So this guy really is, tr is repenting now. Right? So the, the little rich man is repenting now. And Jesus said unto the little rich man, This day is salvation come to this house. For so much as he also is a son of Abraham. Did you catch it? So let me continue. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So Jesus came for the lost sinners, including you, including me, everyone. We are lost. This is why we needed Jesus. Now we are saved because we are followers of Jesus. Christians. The word Christian means the follower of Christ, right? Now we are not lost. We are not spiritually dead anymore. And, let me continue, and as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable. So Mr. Islam is peace. I hope you are still with me. Abdul, pay attention, Abdul Satan. Pay attention, yeah, Abdul is Shaitan. You need to calm down because you made a video about this, like your uh, boyfriend, Muslim warrior, right? I saw that video, don't worry, I saw it. Right? So... Pay attention, guys. Pay attention. I'm very, cal I'm very calm, my friend. I'm just passionate. Call me passionate. Because I'm passionate at the words of Jesus Christ. I love my Lord. Alright? So, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately appear, he said, therefore, so he's, this is a parable. Jesus often spoke in parables, right? He was telling stories. He said, therefore, a certain noble man. Now, this is a story that is Jesus is talking about. Jesus is telling a story, Mr. Islamist peace. But because you're a spiritually dead person, you have no clue about the Bible. You are actually thinking that Jesus meant to say, bring actually a sword and start to slaughter people. This is Jesus talking a, about a story. He is telling a story. So Jesus is telling a parable. So a certain noble, so now Jesus is telling about a story of a noble man went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. So there's a noble man 
and he went to a very far country to receive for himself a kingdom. So he wanted a kingdom and he called his 10 servants. So Jesus is still telling the story, right? And delivered them 10 pounds and said unto them, occupy till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him saying, we will not have this man to reign over us, right? This is still the story. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to be called unto him, to whom he had given the money, that he might not know how much every man had gained by trading. Then came the first saying, Lord, they pound had gained 10 pounds. And he said unto them, well, thou good servant, because thou has been faithful in a very little, have thou authority over 10 cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound had gained five pounds. And he said, likewise to him, be thou else over five cities. So he's, this guy who wanted to have a kingdom, Jesus telling the story, he is happy about his servants. And another came, a third came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid upon a napkin. So he didn't do anything with the money. So the third servant didn't do anything with the money that was given to him. For I fear thee, so this, this servant of this guy that Jesus talking about, telling the story about, he feared his master because thou art an austere man. Thou takes up that, they, that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. And he said unto them, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. So this was a bad servant, right? For doing that was not commanded to him to do. Though knewest that I was an austere man, taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gave not though my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have required mine own usury. And verse 24, And then he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that had ten pounds. And they said unto him, Lord, he had ten pounds. The second, uh, the, the up following verses, For I saw unto you, that unto every one which had shall be given, and from him that had not, even that he had shall be taken away from him. But those thy mine, those mine enemies, says the, this is still uh, the story, right? About that rich man, that noble man, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So who is the one speaking here? Who is one, the one speaking here? The noble man. Not Jesus. Jesus is simply telling a story about a noble man. Did Jesus actually say, bring hither and slay them before me? No. Right? The man of the kingdom who wanted to have a kingdom is speaking here. You see these spiritually dead Abduls? Yeah, Abdul, son of Abdul. Yeah, Abdul of Satan, yeah, slave of Satan, Mr. Ali Dawa, Mr. Islam is peace. You have just been cooked, you have been cooked, and you have been spanked, and you have been served for everybody to see. Right? So Jesus is telling a story. So when Jesus had thus spoken, he went before ascending up to Jerusalem. Right? So Jesus was telling a story. Do you see it? Jesus didn't say bring, <laughs> bring them and uh, let me start to slaughter them or slay them. No, he was telling a story. It was a parable. Yeah, donkey ibn donkey. Yeah, donkey ibn. You, you know, guys, we always call Muslims donkeys because the word donkey in Arabic is actually according to the shiuch, right? According to the shiuch, it means ignorant, stupid. So, I'm not trying to insult a real donkey, because that would be an insult, right? To call a real donkey stupid. But the Muslims are actually ignorant, spiritually dead people. And you just proved my case, Mr. Islamist Peace. You mentioned Luke 19, right? And we just spanked you with Luke 19. Bam! Eat it, swallow it, but don't forget to digest this, Abdul Ali Dawa, you filthy liar. You see, Jesus was not the one 
talking. It was the story about the king, right? About the noble man. So you see, he, guys, let them read the entire chapter. Don't just allow them to quote one verse out of context. The Bible is full of context. Read the entire chapter to understand what is happening. Begin with verse 1. Read it. What is happening here? Give them the ball back. Give the Muslims the ball back to show them how, their stupidity. Yahmar. Yahmar ibn Ahmar. Jesus in Luke 19 is not saying actually bring them and I will slaughter them. He's telling a story about a man. Donkey ibn Donkey. Yahmar ibn Ahmar. Islam. Now the guy is silent, right? He became silent fi sabil Allah. You know, his taqiyya is spanked. He you know he's spanked. And we actually expose the taqiyya of the Ali Dawa and these Muslims. Saying that Jesus is the one saying it, right? Let me again go back to hear Ali Dawa, what Ali Dawa said. The, um, get your uh, yeah. sword out. Let me hear you. Luke yeah, 19, yeah, okay. Go and buy a sword, yeah. Okay, ah. so go and buy a sword. No, not buy a sword, not buy a sword. Uh, those who don't, those that, who, yeah, you said ah, those those who who don't have sword. No, those who don't, don't follow me, bring them here and slay them. <laughs> Ali Dawa, yeah, donkey ibn donkey. Ali Dawa, yeah, donkey ibn donkey. Hamar ibn Hamar. Jesus said it, right? No, the king said it. Jesus was simply telling a story, Ali Dawa. Right? Guys, about the Amalekites, anyway, you know, let it go, Abduls. Let it go, let it go. You know, it's, you know, it's really... It doesn't take much effort to spank you. But about the Amalekites, guys, let me go back. God, as we mentioned, God in the Old Testament chose the Israelites to be his people. And he protected them from pagans, i.e. the Amalekites, who want to destroy the Jews from the very beginning. They wanted to destroy the Israelites over and over and over. This threat against the Israelites continued for more than 400 years. Guys, like I said, don't start to panic. Don't start to stress. This is not for the Jew. Uh, this is not for us. This was in the time of the Israelites, right? And we told you that we are not under the old covenant anymore. So when they bring up the Amalekite story, give them the ball back, say that to them, we are not under those laws. We are not under the old covenant. Go to the Jews. If you have a problem with it, go with it to the Jews. We are not older that aren't old contract anymore we are under the new covenant the new contract with all mankind right and as we mentioned to you guys god for some reason picked up the israelites to be his people and when you are his father when you when god is the father of the israel of course you're going to protect your people right your children basically every father would do that a Muslim is calling me, guys. Let me pick it up. Hello? The new contract. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Yes, you talk about uh, Jesus. Go, get lost, Abdul. Guys, this is, uh, you know who this is, right? This is this donkey, Mr. Rashad Khalifa boy. Rashad Khalifa boy. You know. No, no, I'm not going to talk him, to him. This is Rashad Ultimate Shirk Khalifa boy. You know, he's not even a Muslim. Bring me real Muslims. He's a Rashad Khalifa boy. Yeah, again. Yeah, it's the ultimate fart guy. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to waste my time with a non-Muslim. Ya Shiyukh, speaking from Kif Hira. Ya Ustaz, Ya Imam, bring me real Muslims. Don't bring me Rashad Khalifa boys that you would stab on the streets of Mecca. Right? Rashad Khalifa, guys, for the people who do not know, this Abdul is a Rashad Khalifa boy, right? Rashad Khalifa, this is Rashad, Rashad Khalifa. This is why I don't want to waste my time with this donkey, because he's a follower 
of Rashad Khalifa, of this guy. Do you see it? And Rashad Khalifa, guys, was stabbed to death in the 90s. Let me make this bigger. This guy was stabbed in the 90s. Do you see it? By Muslim, by Sunni Muslims. Right? Don't call me, Abdul. Don't call me. I'm not going to uh, waste my time with you. Bring me a real Muslim. So this guy was an Egyptian. He was stabbed. A donkey ibn donkey. Don't you understand? Let me, let me block this guy. I don't want to waste my time with these people, man. Let me block this guy. Allow me to block you first. <laughs> then try to keep calling me up. Oh, Lord have mercy, man. What a donkey, man. What a donkey. Okay, now you can keep continue calling me. Uh, so, this guy, look what Khal Rashad Khalifa claimed, guys. His doctrine is this. He thought that he was actually the messenger of Allah. But if the Quran says that Muhammad is the final of all the messengers, he's the seal of all the messengers. You see it? And he was actually stabbed to death. And not only that, not only that, he even claimed that parts of the Quran were fabricated. So you want me to talk to a guy of a follower of this guy, a fake Muslim? You're not even a real Muslim uh, ultimate shirk. So don't waste my time, okay? Don't waste my time. Bring me a real Muslim. Donkey Ben Donkey. Do we have a real Muslim? Do we have a real Muslim? Do we have a real Sunni or Shia Muslim? Where, where is this guy hiding? Where is this uh, Islamist peace hiding? Where are you hiding Islamist peace? You came to get spanked and then that's it? Why are you not calling me Abdul? Guys, Muslims, it's almost Christmas. For the Muslims who claim that they have no mic in 2019, I mean, you have a smartphone, right? You say we don't have mic. But if you claim that you don't have a mic, it's almost Christmas. Ask Santa to give you a nice mic. Santa will provide, right? Santa will provide. I mean, I'm sure he will not put you on his naughty list. So he'll give you a nice microphone, right? Guys, let us continue the spanking of today. Let us continue. We're going to continue with Ahmed Didad, right? Ahmed Didad. Let me put up my headset on and let us continue. That the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was mentioned by name in the Bible. Mentioned by name. Really? In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, in the Hebrew language, it says, Hikko mamittakim vi kullu muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word Muhammadim is Muhammadim. The word is there. The word the is Hebrew there. Language. Yes, it's there. In the original, what they call original, it's there. It's there. And now, what's your point? But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely, says Solomon. Okay. Muhammadim, they translated as altogether lovely. 
but the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. Guys, did you hear that? He claims that the name of Muhammad is mentioned in Song of Songs 516. However, the Christians have taken the name Muhammad from the Hebrew language and translated into altogether lovely in the English language. Why did Muhammad was mentioned in Song of Songs 516 and why did Ahmadidat do not go to many other verses that mention the word, the Hebrew word Mahmadim? Because this is not the only verse in Song of so Songs 516 where this word is mentioned. It's mentioned in many different verses all over the Bible. We're going to show you now why this Abdul, this Ahmadidat, used this tactic, this deception, to only go to the Song of Songs 516. Why did Ahmadidat did not go to a different verse to show you that Muhammad is there? Guys, we're going to destroy Ahmadidat today. And I want you to download this video after I'm done. Download this video and share it around on all your social media accounts because Muslims still today after 35 years are still following this liar and deceiver. So let us dissect the two deceptions that Ahmadi Dad used here. We're going to address them both and we're going to destroy and expose this liar, this late Ahmadida that Muslims are still proud about. Let us start dissecting this claim. Deception number one. The Hebrew word which Ahmadida is referring to in the Song of Songs 516 is Mahmad, which can also be pronounced as Mahmad or Muhammad. This word in the Hebrew language simply means desirable, pleasant thing, precious or valuable. The word Muhammad in the Arabic language means the praised one. So as you see, these are different meanings. So the Arabic meaning means the praised one and the Hebrew meaning means desirable, pleasant thing, precious or valuable. So, different meaning. Why is Mr. Ahmadidat using this tactic? Because he is a liar and a deceiver. So, here we just uncovered deception number one and destroyed it. Because you cannot make a cake, Mr. Ahmadidat, and eat it too. If you're going to use a word which has a meaning, because we know Muhammad is a title, it's not really a name, it's a title. Muhammad, guys, don't forget, that was not his real name. He simply took that name when he became a so-called prophet of Arabia. He took the title, which is a divine title, and he used it as his name. It's the praised one. But the Hebrew word, Mahmad, or Muhammad, means totally different. It's a different meaning. So here we destroyed deception number one. Let us go to deception number two. Deception number two. Ahmadi Dad did not mention that the Hebrew word Muhammad is not only mentioned in the Song of Songs 516, but rather this word is actually mentioned about 12 times as I said earlier in the Holy Bible. It's mentioned more than once. But why did Ahmed Didat specifically go to Song of Songs 516? Now we are going to show you why he did not go to a different verse. So why did Ahmed Didat only refer to the Song of Songs 516? Let's have a look at other verses in the scripture, in our scripture, with the same word. And then we will understand why. So if we go to a different verse, like this one, Isaiah 64, 11, it says, Our holy and beautiful temple, 
where our fathers praised you is burned up with fire and our pleasant things are laid waste now if we're going to change pleasant things with which here means Muhammad to Muhammad to the, to the Prophet Muhammad because remember Ahmed Didat said Muhammad is mentioned by name so if we put here under pleasant things Muhammad then Muhammad the Prophet of Islam is laid to waste so Mr. Deceiver, Mr. Liar, Ahmed Idad, why didn't you mention Isaiah 64, 11? Because your prophet will be laid to waste. He will be laid to waste. Your own prophet. <laughs> you see the deception, guys? Right? You see the deception? So, Mr. Ahmed Idad, the Hebrew word is translated to our pleasant things in Isaiah 6 40, 64 11 is Muhammad. So using Ahmadidat's logic and tactic, Isaiah 64 11 should read like this Our holy and beautiful temple, where your fathers praised you, is burned up with fire. And Muhammad, Muhammad, our pleasant things, is laid waste like i said so your prophet muslims according to ahmadidat is laid to waste so he is destroyed <laughs> you see the deception of mr ahmadidat he used verses like song of songs 516 for his own agenda and like we said mahmad the word mahmad is used for like 12 verses in the bible that word so, Mr. Ahmadidat, you can't make a cake and eat it too. You're nothing but a liar and a deceiver. And now, 35 years later, you have been spanked and you have been exposed and searched for everyone to see. Shame on you. Shame on you for challenging the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When you challenged him, this is why he silenced you because our holy god is a living god and when you are challenging our holy living god he will answer so this is the deception of mr ahmed didad so that was just one of the examples where the hebrew word muhammad or mahmad is used this way in the holy scriptures other examples will be in ezekiel 2416 where the hebrew word muhammad or mahmad is used to describe the prophet ezekiel's wife because she was desirable to ezekiel himself so are you telling me that muhammad was a gay if you're going to say that muhammad <laughs> was the one who was desirable to ezekiel that means muhammad was a gay but we know why Mr. Ahmadidat went only to Song of Songs 516 because he had an agenda. And he thought that we Christians are too stupid. We don't know our scripture to expose this liar and deceiver. This guy, like I said earlier, did it for money. He did it for fame. He didn't. So guys, this is the way to spank Ahmadidat. Ahmadidat, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. So guys, we mentioned Isaiah 64, 11, and we mentioned Ezekiel 24, 16, where the same word, Mahmad is used, desirable. One of, one of them is laid to waste, right? So the desirable is laid to waste. So Muhammad is laid to waste. Thank you for proving to us that when you're going to play these games, Mr. Ahmadidad, why are you not going to other verses but, but Song of Songs 516, right? So Muhammad is laid to waste, as we proved it, and Muhammad, according to Ahmadidad, is gay. Because it's the same word. It sounds the same, right? So it must be Muhammad, Mr. Ahmadidad.
Mr. Ahmadidad, you're a liar, you're a deceiver, and you're a pure taqiyya abdul. Like the many people after you, like Ali Dawa, like Muhammad Hijab, right? We are spanking them and they are still using the same lies and deception of this late Ahmadidad. So Mr. Ahmadidad, Mr. Islam is peace. Mr. Islam is peace. Are you still there? Are you, I know you are the boyfriend of Muslim warrior that we spanked horribly that other day, right? Remember Muslim warrior guys? We spanked him left and right. And these Muslims of today, they have no clue about the Bible. They are still uploading these videos, guys. They are still uploading those videos. And the video that I played, guess what? Guess what, guys? Who uploaded that? Muslim warrior. <laughs> These donkeys, donkeys, man. <laughs> donkeys, a ben donkey. Donkey, a ben donkey. Do you see it? That's the guy that we spank. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. So, Muslims, 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 Muslims. Focus, focus. Muslims, I have a huge challenge for you. Muslims, I have a ch huge challenge for you. You heard Ahmadidat, right? We challenge you to show us verses from the Holy Bible. Guys, pay attention. Are you with me? God bless you too, Fibi. Guys, give me one if you're with me. This is another one million dollar challenge. We challenge you Muslims to show us biblical verses from the Holy Bible where Abraham or Moses are called Abrahadim, Moshidim. Do we have a deal? Do we have a deal Muslims? Because Ahmad Didad said, Dim, guys, this last three letters, Dim, is a sign of respect, right? Can you show us, because you are saying that it's Muhammad, Muhammadim, Dim is a sign of respect. Can you show us where Ibrahim is called Ibrahadim? Can you show us where Moses is called Mushidim? If you can show me, I will give you a one million dollar. Right here, right now. This is one huge challenge. Any Muslim, since Ahmed Yadad claimed that Muhammad. It's a sign of respect. And we spanked him and showed him that they are nothing but playing word games. Ahmed Yadad was playing word games. Because it sounds the same, it must mean the same. <laughs> Filthy, disgusting liars. You Muslims have truly no shame. You truly have no dignity. Right? You truly have no shame, you have no dignity. And this Muslim warrior, the same guy who was uploading this video. Let me play that video. S try not to laugh, guys. Please try not to laugh at this Muslim warrior, Abdul. Try not to laugh. Okay? Let me play the video for you. So he's going to a website of the Bible, in this case, BibleHub.com. He's copying lovely, do you see it? Where it says Muhammadim or Mahmadim. And they think, hey, Allah Akbar, Muhammad is in the Bible. <laughs> Try not to laugh, guys. Look how proud these people are, man. I really feel sorry for you, Mr. Muslim warrior. And your boyfriend, Islam is peace. Look, going to another website, putting the word there. Look at the... Uh, Background music, man. Are you not convinced to take Shahada? Look at... Are you hearing the background music? I thought music was haram, wasn't it? Look, Muhammadim, Allahu Akbar! <laughs> Embarrassing, man. Look, look, he's making it bigger. Look, look, look. He's proud, man. Finally, I found the name of Muhammad in the Bible. Allahu Akbar! Boom! 
Are you going to blow yourself up now? <laughs> Guys, look, Muhammad! Yes! Muhammad, finally, we found Muhammad! <laughs> but we showed you, guys, we showed you from Isaiah 64 11 and Ezekiel, from the book of Ezekiel, that you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Because you, when you're going to play word games, because it sounds the same, you have to accept that Muhammad is laid to waste and Muhammad is gay. Deal with it, Muslims. Be only because it sounds like that in a different language. Well, we, we can play those games. Go to, to the Chinese language. You can find many words that maybe are the same. That does, does that mean the same? No, it's a different language, Abdu. Right? So he went to this, guys, and he was copying and pasting. And the origin, guys, the origin word is Hamad. Is Muhammad's original name Hamad? Last time I checked, Muhammad means the praised one. Right? But the actual word means desirable. Since when does Muhammad mean desirable? Right? Guys, let me open up my Skype. Someone is calling me. I'm not sure who that is. I hope it's not this, the same donkey. Uh, guess what? It's the same ultimate shark donkey. I don't want to waste my time with this kid. Is there, is there a real Muslim? Not a Rashad Khalifa boy. Is there a, a real Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge where are you, Mr. Muslim? Who are you? I'm sure you're watching, right? I am 100% sure you're watching. Mr. Muslim is peace. Why are you not ca uh, calling me? You are true Sunni Muslims, right? Call us. So because the word, guys, sounds the same, it must be the same, right? Right, Muslims? Right. Ultimate for, uh, fart, ultimate shirk. Drop Rashad Khalifa boy, then we will take you seriously. Right? Then we will take you seriously. If you become a true Sunni Muslim, then we will take you seriously. If you stop calling Sahih Bukhari fake, then we will take you seriously. Till then, you are not even a true Muslim. They will stab you to death on the streets of Mecca. Muslim warrior will stab you to death if he finds you in Mecca. Yeah. So guys, because the word sounds the same, that means it's Muhammad. <laughs> guys, if we go to Song of Songs, the actual Song of Songs, Song of Solomon 5, you, if you, con you read, start read from the verse verse, right? Start reading. You will understand that this is about a woman and her husband. Why, Muslims, are you forcing Muhammad inside a story between a love story between a a man and his wife telling beautiful things oh beloved right i sleep but my heart waketh it's the voice of my beloved this is a love story right this is a love story why are you wanting to force muhammad Right? Why are you trying to force Muhammad between a man? Let me type it. Why you Muslims? Why do you try to force Muhammad inside a love story between a woman and her lover? Have you, sh have you any shame? Are you telling us that you want to make an orgy for Muhammad? A trial? A orgy? That's what you want to say to us? It's not enough to call Muhammad gay. It's not enough to call Muhammad is laid to waste. You want to force Muhammad in, into a love story between a man and, her, and, her, and his wife? Have you Muslims no shame? Last time we checked, guys, when you do that, that means you want Muhammad to be stoned to death because he wants to take the wife of her husband 
His mouth is most sweet. He is altogether lovely. This is the wife talking about her husband. Muslims, do you have any shame in you? What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. So Muslims, if you are going to play these word games, you have to accept that when you say Allahu Akbar, boom, right? Allahu Akbar! <laughs> that's what they said, right? When you say Allahu Akbar, you, and you want to play those games that because Mahmadim sounds like Muhammad, it must be the prophet of Islam. Then you have to accept that Akbar, guys pay attention, you have to accept that Akbar in Hebrew means cursed mouse. So according to your silly word games, you have to accept that Allah, that Allah is a cursed mouth, mouse. Right? Take beer, take a beer Muslims. Where is Islam is peace? Where is this guy? Are you hiding in the live chat? Right? So you have to accept, when you are going to play these games, you have also to accept, that because Akbar sounds like the Hebrew word Akbar, you have to accept that Allah is a cursed mouse. Allahu cursed mouse. Congratulations Muslims. You want to play those games? Where are the Muslims, the real Muslims, when you need them? Yeah, Akbar is a cursed mouse, right? Mr. Islam is peace, Mr. Muslim all here. Why are you not calling me, man? Call me. Rob Christian, you're finished. Mohammed Hijab, I quote. Rob Christian, speaking from Kif Hira. You're finished, Rob Christian. You're finished. You're finished. You Christians running from biblical verses. You're running when we bring up topics. Today was all about Christianity, guys. It was all about the Bible. You see? Uh-oh. Rob Christian, you're finished. These people, guys. As we show, told you, these people are bankrupt. Ahmadida, 35 years ago, was bankrupt. Ali Dawa is bankrupt. Uh, we should not call him Ali Dawa. Ali Christian, right? Ali Christian. These people are bankrupt, man. They are spiritually dead people, man. Quoting one, one verse out of context. Playing word games. Right? Playing word games. Right? Playing word games. So you have to deal with the fact that Muhammad is laid to waste. You have to deal with the fact, if you go to only songs of Psalm 516, you have to also accept that it's because it's the same word, it means Muhammad is laid to waste. And as we showed you, if you're going to play word games, silly word games, you have to accept that according to Ezekiel, the book of Ezekiel 2416, Muhammad is gay because the prophet Ezekiel wife he she was desirable to him when you're going to say that's Muhammad you have to actually accept that Ezekiel according to Ezekiel Muhammad is desirable to Ezekiel so that means Muhammad is gay uh oh you want to play those games Muslims so today guys we prove to you that Ahmadidat, both Ahmadidat and Ali Dawa are bankrupt. They are using taqiyya, right? Taqiyya. We smile in the face of some people, although our hearts curse them, right? And we told you that they are allowed to use taqiyya when they debate us, because when they debate us, they are at war with us. And taqiyya, deception, is the art of war in war and even a husband can lie to his wife and a wife can lie to her husband right mr ali dawa and we taught you when they bring up the Al amalekites and i've seen many christians trying to protect uh, defend this don't right don't tell them to go to the jews tell them to go to the israelites why are you talking about this with a Christian? We are not under that old covenant anymore. 
This was in the time of the Jews and the Jews alone. I hope, really, I really hope that you people have learned something today. I hope you took notes. Islam is peace. Call me, ya coward. Ya Jaban ibn Jaban. Mithil nabiyak. Al kizab ibn kizab. Yeah, I have clue what taqiyya means. We just proved it to everybody. This is the meaning of taqiyya and how you can use it. Learn something, Abdul. Stop. I hope for your own sake, I hope that you Muslims will remove your videos because that video that we were playing, right? That video that we were playing, your boyfriend, Muslim warrior, uploaded. And I know you have uploaded such videos too, right? Right? And we showed you that Mr. Ali Dawa said this. I dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like you do. <laughs> dare you, I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side that glorifies Jesus like we do. Did you hear what he said? Let me scroll back. <laughs> Guys, I can't stop playing this video. You know, I, mean, I, I really play this video like more than too 10 much times fun, man. already. But you know, this is a really big bust. Guys, pay attention what Ali Dawa, the nurse of Muhammad Hijab is saying. Pay attention. He shall glorify me. I dare you. I challenge you. He's challenging. A single religion. Put Islam to the side. <laughs> that glorifies Jesus like we do. That glorifies Jesus like we do. You Muslims glorify Jesus? <laughs> you Muslims glorify Jesus? When did that happen? I challenge you to bring me a single religion. Put Islam to a side. You filthy that liar. glorifies Jesus like we do. <laughs> oh, I have only five weeks to repent. Uh, guys. Hey, Cloudy Kaaba, Habibi. How are you? God bless you. Uh... Hafza Adasi, God bless you. The people who just joined. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. According to the Muslims, they are making a huge long video about Christian Prince and me. Right? I hope they will make a six hour long video. So that means we are going to have fun with that video. We will spank them left and right. Uh, Ali is a Christian Kurd now. He became a Christian. I mean, you just heard it, man. God bless you too, Sylphie. Sylphie, please. The sound is good, right, guys? The, the sound is still good. I think you have to uh, refresh Aaron Stelly. You have to refresh. So Ali Dawa became Ali Christian. Right? And we explained to you guys that you cannot play a game of words. If you're going to play those games, you have to accept the same games. Because when you're going to play those games, you have to deal with it. Because Akbar in Hebrew, it sounds the same. You have to accept that, accept that Allah is a cursed mouse. Right? Allah is a cursed mouse. Do you have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call us? A real Muslim. Do we have a real Muslim? Guys, I have uh, really lovely news. I have really lovely news. Uh, I've been contacted by Sira International, by Brother Al Fadi, the ex Muslim who became a Christian. Let me. Uh... Who's this guy? I hope we have a real Muslim. Hello? Ultimate truth. Donkey. Donkey Ibn Donkey. Donkey Ibn Donkey. Do you have a true Muslim? Yeah, Sierra International, guys. Let me go. Uh, <clears throat> his channel. So they will call me, I think, if Lord willingly. These people. 
they will call me in uh, December and I will be invited to their studio. They have a really beautiful studio set up where Sam Shamoon, as you see here in front of you, is talking, where David Wood is talking. So I will be invited to this show. Uh, so Lord willing, we will have an amazing teaching, amazing show uh, in their uh, studio. But as you know, guys, I can't show my face and a uh, brother uh, Al Fadi that you see here, an ex-Muslim from Saudi Arabia. Let me give you his uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel, guys. Always make sure to support all the warriors in Christ. God bless him. He left Islam many years ago, and now he is exposing Islam left and right. He's inviting uh, Jay Smith, uh, as you see, Sam Shamoon. So I'll be invited through Skype to their lovely shows, and we will have an amazing time, Lord willingly. And I will also have, Lord willing, also with uh, Islam Critique. Uh, Islam Critique, let me go. <clears throat> this guy here, also an amazing guy. Let me give you also his YouTube channel. I will have, Lord willingly, I will have also a lovely live show together with him. So I think December, January, Lord willingly, will be amazing months. And we will have amazing shows with these people, right? So we will have amazing videos and live shows coming up, guys. Why, why do you need, Mr. Coward Princess, why do you need to call me names, man? Did you learn the word dick? Guys, he's calling me Rob Christian Dick. Did you learn that word from Muhammad when Muhammad said, go bite on the penis of your forefathers? Did you learn that nasty language from your prophet? Go wash your mouth, man. And not only that, Abu Bakr said, go lick the clitoris of Allah. So if the number one guy of Islam, Muhammad, and the second guy, Abu Bakr, are using filthy language, what do you expect from these nasty Muslims, man? Ugly prophet, ugly people, man. Nasty, man. Have you no shame? Do we have any real Muslim? Do we have any real Muslim? It's okay, Hafza, Hafza. Uh, you're an ex-Muslim, right? You became a Christian. You know how filthy these Muslims are. Their shiuch are filthy. If they curse each other left and right, what do you expect for the, from the mo normal Muslims, right? Their imams, their ustas, they curse Shia, Shia curse Sunni. What do you expect, man, from this spiritually dead satanic cult? Man-made satanic cult. So who is Najis? Who, who, who is the real Najis here? Huh? Exactly, Claudia Kaaba, Habibi. Exactly. Nasty, man. So what do you expect from these Muslims, man, who are suffering from Abdulism? Is there any Muslim? who can defend Ali Dawa? We have spanked and cooked and served Ali Dawa today. Is there any Muslim who can defend his Islamic hero? Because you love to make videos about Ahmadida. Save him from me, man. I've been spanking and cooking and serving for everybody to see. Serving him for everybody to see. This Ahmadida, your hero. Do we have a Muslim who can defend Ahmadida? Come on, man. Guys, so when they, whenever they bring up the story of the Amalekites, give them chapter 5, verses 20. Let me give you the link for the people who just joined in. It's the same story is documented in the Quran. And Allah is commanding the Israelites here to go and slaughter the Amalekites. They are women, they are children. So, stop being a hypocrite munafiq. When you attack the Old Testament, right? You have to deal with it that it's in the Quran. Yeah, Muslim warrior. Muslim warrior. 
Where are you, Muslim warrior? Why did you stop calling me? Call me, man. We will talk about the Bible. Call me, call me, Abdul, call me. We will talk about Luke. <laughs> we will talk about uh, the other verses. Call me, yeah, donkey, Ibn donkey. Spiritually donkeys, spiritually dead donkeys. That's what, that's what you Muslims are. Do we have a Muslim? I mean, come on, man. We have at least one dislike, so that means we have a Muslim watching. Right? Yeah, let's talk about Mut'a, baby. <laughs> Chapter 4. Ah, oh, yeah, 24. Right? You, you call Allah God, but Allah allowing you to do prostitution, Muslims. Huh? Enjoy. Enjoy what? The female part, right? Ujurahunna, give them their wages. For what? For enjoying the female parts. Prostitution 101 in chapter 4, ayah 24. Right? This is God. You dare to call this God? Yeah, wages, exactly. Money or uh, a nice coat or maybe a camel. For a couple of hours, maximum of three days, right? Doing bang bang, boing boing, and then you don't even need to uh, divorce, right? It's over, right? A nice prostitution contract. And because, guys, maybe you have watched the BBC documentary about uh, Muta in Iraq, the Shia, because they don't accept Omar, we you should know by now that Omar is the one who abrogated this ayah, right? He put a big cross on it. Yes, it's still in the Quran, but the Sunni, the Bakris, as the Shia call them, the Bakris, they don't follow it because, because Omar abrogated it. Last time I checked, Omar is not a prophet. So it, it's, it, it's amazing that Muslims don't follow this ayah while well, it's in the Quran and it was Omar who abrogated because Shia don't respect Omar they curse Omar right they still practice the prostitution of Allah right is there any Muslim yeah boing 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 Yeah, Omar, Omar, because he is equal with Allah, this is why he can abrogate, it, abrogate verses of Allah, right? Um, can, can an admin please silence this coward princess? You are you're the coward, Abdul. If you are not a coward, you should call me. Call me a donkey ibn donkey. Who, who are you calling coward? Who are you you're calling Christian prince a coward? You dare to call Christian Prince a coward? I really hope, guys, as we mentioned earlier, I really hope that this Muhammad Hijab is not a munafiq and he will actually accept the challenge of Christian Prince that he calls a Christian boy for a real debate. Be a man, Mr. Muhammad Hijab. Be a man and accept challenge for debate if you are a coward and you are listening to today's video and you're listening right now or maybe you have minions like Amin like Farid like Muslim warrior like Islamist peace or this coward princess if you can co contact him and you are too afraid to debate Christian Prince debate me then maybe you can take me right I promise you I'll only use 30% of my knowledge only 
De Beek Miren, Roeskamp. Do you accept my debate? My challenge for debate, Mr. Mohammed Hijab. Hello, most use. God bless you, my friend. Welcome to, to the live chat. Thank you for your support, brother. <clears throat> nice to see you. Welcome to everybody who just joined in. If you have any Muslim friend or you know Muslims, invite them to our live shows. Also, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button and also click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. Do we have any Muslim guys? Or do we have only text terrorists like Islamist Peace who is making a lot of videos claiming that I said I'm an Arabic expert? I never, guys, have you ever heard me saying I'm an Arabic expert? No. I don't need to be an Arabic expert to expose your Muslim heroes, to expose your fake prophet. And we showed you how Ali Dawa said, show me, he challenged the Christian, right, in that video, to show him from the Quran or where Muhammad is saying, commanding to kill women and children. Well, it's in the Quran, chapter 5. And it's also in the hadith, right? Many hadith, like this one, Sunan Ibn Majah, and Sahih Muslim. Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. Where Muhammad is commanding the killing of women and children of the pagans. Innocent women and children. Right? Ali Dawa, uh, sorry, I meant to say Ali Christian. Right? I don't need to be an Arabic expert to expose this man-made code, right? Right? Guys, so make sure to upvote. Go to Muhammad Hijab. Uh, you can find it actually uh, between the community, if I'm not mistaken. Let, let's, let me see. If we go to... Muhammad Hijab, bear with me guys, if we go here to his YouTube channel and we go to community and you scroll down, you will see here, so make click on this so it will get more percentages. Not that this coward will ever ever dare to accept the challenge, he will never do it because he knows what will happen to him when he actually faces Christian Prince in a real debate. Christian Prince will end your career. Your career is already ended by David Wood when you said, Muhammad, you know, Allah prays for Muhammad, not to, right? When you said Elijah means God with us, you, your career is already ended. But to even give you a nice fatality, your boy is smashed, Christian Prince will end your career finally. Then it's enough enough, right? Hopefully you'll be a man, man up, and face Christian Prince. Or if you're a coward, face me. This is an official challenge for debate. Accept my challenge for debate, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, if you're scared to debate Christian Prince. Right? Do you have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Do you agree with, with your hero, Ahmad Idad, when he said Mahmadim Song of Songs 516? Do you agree with him that when you're going to play those word games, do you accept that Akbar, because it sounds the same in Hebrew, that means Allah is a cursed mouse? Islam is peace. Call me ya donkey, ya coward, ya Jaban ibn Jaban. Coward. Yeah, Sigab line. Sometimes my friends, Sigab line. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. Forgive me. But if sometimes when I wake up and I look in the mirror, I am scared from myself, man. 
Bro, I'm so ugly. The mem I have to replace. So now and then I have to replace my own mirrors in the house in my house. Right? I'm so ugly, man. You have no clue. Yalla ya ummiyun, ya ya muslimin. Call me. <clears throat> my Skype is open, man. These people really, you know, Muhammad would turn away from shame from today's Muslims. They are such cowards, they don't dare to call us. But they only send us fake Muslims like ultimate fart, ultimate shirk, who keep calling me. Well, this guy is not even a real Muslim. How, why should I keep spanking his Abdul? And we spanked him many times. Why should I keep spanking a fake Muslim? That's a waste of my time, man. Yeah, Islam is peace. Why, you want me to date or debate Muhammad Hijab? Huh? You want me to date him or do you want me to bait him? I mean, why would Muhammad Hijab not accept our debate through Skype? What's the problem? It's the same. If it happens on a big stage, why well, he, want, he wants to show how tall this guy is. He, does he want me to show me his, uh, his, his muscles? We're not about muscles, we're about the truth. So if you are a man of truth, we can have a debate through Skype. Right? No need to fly over, man. Let's do it the right way. You ask me a question, I ask you a question. You ask me a question, I ask you a question. That's real debating. I mean, everyone can prepare a 10 paper and then call it a debate. That's not debating, man. Debating is either you spank me or I spank you. You ask me a question, I answer you. I ask you a question, you answer me. That's the real debating, not preparing like a kid. I mean, even my cousin, my cousin, my nephew, right? My nephew that is 12 years old can read a 10 paper. 10 papers and call that a debate. Real debating, you spank me or I spank you. That's it. Not giving speech for uh, 30 minutes. That's not debating. Man. Yeah. Show me your face. You're finished. Rob. You're finished. You're finished. Right? Show me your face. It's all about the face. It's all about the face. Face. It's all about the face. Face. Right? Any Muslim? Since you are here, Islam is peace. Since you are a coward, you will never dare to call me. You're a coward. Can you explain to the audience this verse? Can you explain it, please? Why are you Muslims such hypocrites? You dare to call, call us mushrikeen, that we are committing shirk. We are blasphemers, but at the same time, shirk is in your Quran. لِتُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةً وَصِيلًا You have to glorify to the Sbih, to the Rasul. Right? You have to worship Muhammad every morning. Let's see who this Abdul is. Hello? You have to worship Muhammad every morning. Mute YouTube, please. Mute YouTube. Please. Hello? Hello? Call me when you learn how to use Skype. I'm too. Mute YouTube, then call me. Don't waste my time. Do we have an Abdul? Do we have any Abdul? Come on, man. We are live for over two hours, man. No Abdul who has the courage and the knowledge to call me. Don't waste my time, man. 
Arif Ahmed Hamid. Let me try to call him maybe this time. Let maybe he fixed his Arif Hamid, guys. This is the hero of today. Pick up, Abdul, pick up. Yalla ya Arif. Hello? 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 Mute, mute YouTube, mute YouTube. Hello? Get lost. Cowards. Cowards, man. Cowards! Yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban. Guys in the chat, do you have any question about today's live show? Are there any questions that we can help you with? Yeah, pretending to call Mestius. What can I do, brother? These are the Muslims of today, wasting our time. We are live for over two hours. And no courage Muslim. There is no Muslim with courage or knowledge to face me. What's this nonsense, man? Cowards, man. Yeah, Jaban ibn Jaban. You Muslims are sons of cowards. You are co your dads are cowards because even your dads don't dare to call us. This is a man-made coward religion. You are bankrupt, Muslims. This is why you don't dare to call us. Most use no one is good but God, my friend. I'm not good. I am replaceable. Christian Prince is replaceable, my friend. David Wood is replaceable. Sam Shimon is replaceable. But because God is good, and only God is good, he made a plan for me. He had a plan for me to teach, my friend. I'm not good. I'm a sinner, bro. I need Jesus. I myself need Jesus. God bless you too, sir. God bless your families, my friends. Is there a question from the chat that we can address? Thank you, most use Habibi. God bless you, Habibi. Salam al Masih. Peace of Christ. Salam al Masih. Even Salam they stole from us. The word Salam is stolen from us. This copy-paste religion, man. Stealing everything that we have. Uh, what's, what's your question about that, Lula? About the five pillars. Ramadan, Zakat. Well, do you have a question about it? Thank you, Habibi, most used. God bless you too, my friend. Uh, Rob Christian, PM Crossbows is asking, Rob Christian, do you care to make a video challenge to Indonesian Ustans as CP did? I love to translate subtitle and post it on their YouTube channel. Okay, can we do this like this? Maybe you can, uh, if you wait, my friend, TM Crossbows, you can download videos, right? Make sure to wait one hour and then download this video. I will say it now. Okay? I will say it now if that's okay with you. Let me... You can cut pa this part out. Cut it out. Right? Cut it out and upload it and translate it. If that's okay, man. Because now... Oh, this guy's calling? Let's see if... Last chance, guys. Last chance. Same guy. Hello? Yo. Yeah, hello. What's yeah. up? What do yes. you want? Donkey ultimate shirt. Donkeys, man. Let me block him again. Donkey, man. Donkeys. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. Let's see if I... Uh... Mm -mm -mm. 
Bear with me, my friend. Bear with me. Since we are live anyway. Uh, I have a nice background somewhere, I think. Uh, Or maybe you can put a nice uh, background. That's also possible. Right? You can put a nice background. But let me say this, okay? Hello, I'm Rob Christian. I challenge any Indonesian Ustaz for a live debate. If you think as an Ustaz from Asia, from Indonesia, from Malaysia. If you think you have the knowledge and the courage to debate me on my live show, please call me on my Skype. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Again, the Rob Christian without separation. Call me when I am live on YouTube and we will provide for you the YouTube link and the Skype link in this challenge for debate. Thank you, and hopefully we will see you in a live show. So you can cut this part out, my friend. This is an official challenge for the debate to the Indonesian or Malaysian Ustaz. So cut, you have to wait, my friend. Like I said earlier, you have to wait for YouTube. You know, YouTube needs one hour to process a long video like this one. A long live show like this one wait an hour then download the video and go to this time stamp and cut that part out and upload it with your translation and with a nice background and also provide the links to my youtube channel and to my skype id okay all right all right cool 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 nice do we have any Ustaz, do we have any Imam? Don't send me kids who are trolls. Fake Muslims like this ultimate shirk. Hello, is it RC you're looking for? Shafiq Bilwai? Let's see who this coward is. Hello? كيف الحال? Ahlan. الحمد لله والله كيفك؟ هلا بخير عندي عندي سؤال بسيط في الكتاب المقدس ما معنى الروح القدس ب الف لام تعرف الروح القدس Can you speak English? Yeah sure تكلم العربية تكلم don't تكلم عربية because my people here are watching our English speakers only okay Yes, yeah, so I'm asking you. Hold on. Can you hold on one second? Wait a second. Are you are you Bushara or what do you call yourself normally? No, 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 I'm not. Yes, yes, yes. I you you are you are. Don't use Taqiya with me. You are the person, right? Bushara. Yeah. You, that's you or what's your Bushara, whatever your name? You mean Bushara. Yeah, it's me. It's, it's me. you. It's you. Good, good, good. Yeah, Guys, yeah, for people who don't who don't know, this guy, he has his own YouTube channel. He's trying to be a hero. He uploads videos about me. Okay. I'm not trying to be a hero. I'm just yes, a yes, yes, yes. I, I I'm immediately know. You see the taqiyah? He said no. Then when he got busted, no, when know, he got busted. Okay, let's get back to the topic. You don't even let's know get... Arabic. Can you wait, can wait, you repeat? Wait, wait. Let's get back to Guys, the topic. you heard his no, Arabic. His Arabic. Al Quds, Al Quds, Al Quds. Next, there's nothing called Quds. Al Quds. Ruh, ruh al your Arabic is even funny, man. Where are you no, from? No, 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 no. Where are you I'm from? Where are you from? The grammar. You are, you are not, you are not even an means, Arab. Are you? Where you are you from? What it means? Yes, the Holy Spirit. It means the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy. Yes. It's two noun following. It should yes. Be, uh, it should be ruh al Qudus. Al ruh al Qudus. Al ruh al Qudus. Do you understand? It's like saying the 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 man, the boat. It has no meaning. So what, why is it's al ab it's al ab in Arabic that's translation al ab no, the father al ibn wa ruh al qudus yes that's our trinitarian god what's your question man so the question is why yes. in the arabic grammar in the, the arabic bible you have al ruh al qudus with uh, alif uh, alif lam ta'rif so what's your point it's a translation that's a 
That's a mistake. It comes from the Greek. There is no such thing. It comes from the Aramaic. So, 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 is so, <laughs> it's not an adjective. The, the, there is two nouns following. How do you explain that? And what's your point? This is translation and the the point. Is it's a translation. Sense. Yeah, donkey. It's a translation. Do you so have anything? The, wait, wait. So what, what do you have anything original? about today's? Bible? Do you have anything about to be, today's? Can you defend been, Ali Dawa and Ahmed Idad? Later, by Paul of Tarsus. Listen, listen, Abdul. When the Bible, yeah, when Abdi. the Bible was no, translated. Abdi. Wait, wait. When the Bible was translated, yeah, Abdel. Uh, you know that Abdel is mentioned in the get lost. Don't waste my time, guys. When the Bible was translated to the Arabic, guys, that was in the eighth and ninth century under Islamic rule. So when the, the Bible was translated from the Aramaic, don't waste my time, Abdul. I have, I have no, I have no time for people who waste my time. When the Bible was translated, guys. It happened under Islamic rule, under the Islamic watchful eye, right? This Abdul is trying to talk about translation. There is a, f a translation error. Well, it happened, and this is why we were forced... Don't waste my time. Stop calling me. So it happened under the Islamic watchful eye. They forced us... They forced us... Don't, don't force me to block you, Abdul. Okay, don't force me to block you. Don't force me to block you, I told you. Donkey. So it happened, guys. It happened under the Islamic rule, under the Islam watchful eye. They even forced us to use the name Allah, as you see here, in the Arabic translation. I don't even use the Arabic translation because that's a bad translation. Even donkeys are smarter, man, than you. Are you trying to teach us Arabic? <laughs> I don't trust the Arabic translation because it's, it's translated using a false name. My God is not Allah. My God is Jehovah. My God is the I Am. So you forced us to use a bad translation. Is it our mistake? No. These people don't understand, man. Right? Yeah, my voice is gone, guys. You noticed, right? I'm talking for 2 hours and 18 minutes now. <clears throat> and uh, as you know, guys, I still have an ear infection. So my throat is really almost dead. <clears throat> but, you know. Did you hear him saying that? Did you he hear him say being honest? You saw, guys, when I recognized his voice, <clears throat> I recognized his voice. He said, I'm not that Bushara, whatever his name is, right? I'm drinking water, but it's not helping. He used Taqiyya, as you notice, guys. He didn't want to say that it's him because, guys, this is one of his, their heroes, right? He didn't want to uh, be honest. He even denied, he, he even lied about that he hit his him. But he, when he knew I am not to be played with, I am immune for taqiyya, he said, yes, it's me. You see what kind of heroes they are? Cowards, man. Hypocrite munafiq, man. Using taqiyya. <clears throat> right? Yeah, um, I will not use camel urine because... It's not going to help. And it seems that 7 Ajwa is not helping too. Right. Yeah, their instinct, you know, Taqiyya, guys, I kid you not. These people, Taqiyya actually runs through their bl blood veins, right? They have to use Taqiyya. They have to hide their names. If this guy was actually honest, he would have said, Rob Christian, yes, I agree with you. When the Bible was being translated from the Aramaic and the Greek in the 8th and 9th century, under the Islamic rule, because the Muslims were in power, they, were, they forced jizya on us in the Middle East, right? 
they were watching what we how we were translating the Bible. They forced the name Allah on us in our Arabic translation. If this guy was honest, he would have said, yes, I agree with you. The Holy Spirit is not even an Arabic word, my friend. Right? It's not even an Arabic word. It's a translation. Right? It's a translation. We don't care about translations, right? I don't even trust the Arabic translation because Allah, God, is not my God, right? It's not my God. Right? Bad translation. <clears throat> yeah, I will. I will. I will make a hot tea for myself after we're done. But let's see if there's a Muslim who is actually sincere. Don't use taqiyah with me, man. Taqiyah is not working. Mr. Bushara, talking about translation. Why are you not wanting to defend Ali Dawa, man? We're spanking Ali Dawa. We're spanking Ahmed. Stay, stick with the topic, man. What's wrong with you, man? We have a topic today. You call me about a translation? <clears throat> Do you have any Muslim in the chat who wants to call me? Is the, are these your heroes, Muslims? Bushara, Muslim warrior. Ali Dawa, Ahmadi, are those your heroes? Translation. They don't even dare to call with their real names, man. What a shame. I'm not Bushara, no, no. Then I spanked him and I... He could not uh, run from it anymore. Then he finally said, yes, it's me. I recognize his voice, right? This Abdul made a video about me, about this Bushara guy. I think you can find him on YouTube. I, I don't know what the YouTube channel is. I don't care. I really don't care, right? And he was laughing about me, right? Mocking me about chapter nine, right? Let me go there. Guys, are you still with me? Let me spank this Abdul. It's the same guy, right? This Bushara guy. He made a video about me, laughing about me, about this ayah, right? Chapter 9, ayah 31, where it says uh, that attacking the Christians, right? This is talking about the Christians. They have taken their monks, right? Their monks, Ahbarahum wa Ruhbanahum, right? Their monks and rabbis as lords instead of Allah, El, right? God or the, La, we don't believe in Allah, right? So, deception number one from Muhammad or the writer of the Quran, Christians don't believe or worship Allah the moon idol right that's number one guys are you with me give me one of you with me that's mistake number one deception number one spanked but we do actually worship El Masih so who, who are the lords according to this ayah it's Allah and El Masih did you catch it? So who are the gods here in this ayah? Quran 9, 31. It's Allah and al Messiah, right? The Messiah. Allah and al Messiah. So like I said, we don't, we Christian from the Middle East, we don't worship Allah. Allah was forced on us when we translated the Bible from the Greek and the Aramaic, the moon idol of Islam. But we do actually worship El Messiah. Remember when King David called the Messiah in the Holy Bible? 
when he called the Messiah his Lord? So yes, this is why we worship El Masih, because he is our Lord and Savior. And we don't worship our monks, we don't worship our priests. You filthy liar, ya Muhammad, ya Kazab ibn Kazab. The liar, fake, scam prophet of Islam lying about us. We don't worship our priests, we don't worship our monks as lords, as gods, instead of Allah and the Messiah. So, mistake number one, mistake number two, deception on top of deception. And this is clear shirk in the Quran, guys. False translation, filthy liars, right? Filthy, look how long this ayah is, man. Or in this translation, let me try another. Closer, more closer. They have taken doctors? <laughs> <laughs> you filthy liar. <laughs> doctors. Shakir, you liar, Ibn liar. Son of liar. Doctors, guys. Let's see about Arbery. Arbery sometimes can be close. They have taken their rabbis and their monks. Okay, that sounds more like it. As lords, do you catch it? Did you catch it, guys? <laughs> Instead, and the Messiah. See it? This is actually very close translation. Still not 100%, but you get the idea now, right? They have taken their rabbis and their monks as lords, right? Instead of Allah, there, you know, there's nothing called God, man. This is the name. God, guys. So here he's lying again, but it's very close, right? God in Arabic is Ilah, right? Like I just wrote it in the chat, right? But Allah is the name, is the name. Did you catch it? Yeah, this is very shocking, actually. Exactly. E L H. This is very shocking. This is 100% shirk, right? Because it clearly says that the lords are only Allah and El Messiah. 100% shirk, right? 100% shirk. And as we showed you earlier, from chapter 48. So, who is God in Islam? It's Allah, Al Masih, Jesus, and Muhammad. You see, Tawheed, guys, the word Tawheed, it means unification, remember? Unification. So, to unify at least two persons, at least two, right? At least two, right? So, we have, as we mentioned, we have Allah plus Al Masih plus Muhammad. Why Muhammad, guys? Why Muhammad? Because here, according to the grammar rules, and this guy will, will never ever address this, he will make a false video about me trying to explain it away by taqiyya, right? That's what they do, right? By taqiyya, like this Muslim warrior. It clearly says, لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ You have to believe in Allah and Rasulihi wa Rasulihi wa tu'azziruhu You have to assist, right? That you may assist who? The Rasul. Did you catch it? Why assist? In battle. Guys, are you with me? Pay attention, this is really important. So you have to assist Muhammad in battle. So you cannot have a cake and eat it too and say that the other two words are not for the Rasul. Because according to clear, crystal clear, Arabic grammar rules, grammar rules, the last person, all the words that come after are for the last person and only for the last person, right? So in this case, Muhammad, you have to assist him in battle. You have to honor him. Uh, sorry, you have to honor him. وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ 
assist him who the rasul you have to honor who the rasul and you have to glorify act of worship tasbih act of worship glorify this is false translation glorify is not the praise praising is hamd right his praise hamdulillah so this is even more worse so if you're going to say praise that means you are making it even more worse because praising is also an act of worship alhamd so the hamd when you used the taqiyya hamd praise that means you have to do hamd for the rasul also but we know the correct translation is to glorify right so you have to glorify tasbih for the rasul did you catch it so you cannot have a cake and eat it too when you're going to say this is for Allah no then you have to accept that Allah needs assistance Allah needs assistance in battle is Allah an, a, a man is Allah a man to need assistance to be assisted to be assisted in battle is Allah a man now you see how easy it is to refute their silly word games. So, like we said, it's Allah, Al Masih, and Muhammad. That's the meaning for Tawheed. Right? Unification of at least two persons. Right? And if we go to make it even more worse, if we go to chapter 112, guys, please take notes. Help me to help you. And if we go there, right? Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, Allah is one of. Allah is one of. Christian prince have explained this many times. I've explained this many times, but it's never enough. Because why is Allah not finishing his sentence? This is an empty sentence. Allah basically it says, say Allah Allah is one of. But Abdul, the writer of the Quran, yeah, Abdul speaking from Cave Hira. Why are you not finishing the sentence? Sentence, sentence. Finish it. What is Allah is what of what? Clearly many, one of many gods. Right? Muslims. Empty sentence. And Samad, guys, the word Samad is an Hebrew Aramaic word. Hebrew Aramaic word. Right? It means also to unify. Let me... Uh, I hope I got the link somewhere. Let me see. Mm. I had a really nice link. I hope I can find it. Okay, here. I found it. Thanks to the Lord. You see, guys, are you with me? Are you with me? Samad, this is biblehub.com. Let me give you the link. Copy it, bookmark it. This is really important to spank Allah in Islam, the Tawheed of Islam. You see, this is the word. This is an Aramaic Hebrew word. Samad, you see it? Samad, it means pair, a couple. Did you catch it? Samad. From Samad, a couple, a pair. Look what it says, a team, together, pairs, two, at least two. Do you see it? Right? And we know the Quran contains many Aramaic words and Hebrew words. Ahad comes from Echad. Same word. 
And we know that Echad is a compound unity. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Bam! Samat is an Hebrew Aramaic word. Right? This is the same word. Do you see it? Muhammad simply stole it from the Jews and the Christians. So it's a team of gods. Did you catch it? Unbelievable! What would a Japanese say that? Unbelievable! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to be a racist guy. Forgive me, Japanese people. Unbelievable! You see? How easy it is to spank this man-made cult. When you're going to call yourself a prophet, and proclaim to be a prophet, a fake prophet, you're going to steal from here, you're going to steal from there, you'll get spanked by knowledgeable people who actually did some nice digging. BAM! Guys, like we said, if you like our teaching, please subscribe, smash that like button, and also click on the notification bell to receive notification. If it's not too much to ask from you guys, please share my YouTube channel also on your social media accounts, right? So that people will know about our live shows and videos. I love you too, Hafsa Habib. I love you too. Dear sister in, in the Lord. Thank you, Ramfer. Yes, please pray for us, guys. Keep us in your prayers. Because we have to deal with Satan and his man-made cults. Like Islam, right? Satan will always try to attack us and his minions, the Muslims. Pray for all the warriors. God bless you and your families, guys. Is there any Muslim who, can't, who can defend Ali Dawa? Who can defend anything that we just talk about? No, the only thing they can do is go attack the Bible. Changing topics. Topics that have nothing to do with what we talked about today. About trans what, what translation, man? Translation that is written under the Islamic rule in the 9th century. <laughs> you Muslims are truly bankrupt. Bankrupt people, man. Bankrupt people, man. How many times have you guys seen Muslims who use this tactic? But Allah is in the Arabic translation of the Holy Bible. Yeah. We don't deny it. But why are you not telling how it happened? When did it happen? Under which eye? Watchful eye was did it happen? Big Brother is watching you. See? The, you see the deception right here? Yeah, I think uh, Christian Prince will uh, go live tonight. So, don't forget to go him, to him. For the people who just joined later, guys, please re-watch our live show. I think we did a nice live show today. Thanks to the Lord, it was amazing. And only the truth prevails, right guys? Thank you for your support. Today we showed you that Muslims are bankrupt when they quote biblical verses out of context. They don't understand that the Bible has context. You have to read an entire chapter to understand what is happening here. They go to Luke, they go to Samuel. They attack the annihilation of the Amalekites. Well, the same story is found back in the Quran. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. Muhammad simply copied it from the Bible and he put it in Quran. Chapter 5, 
verses 20 to let's say 23 24 right how Allah is being the biggest scientist ever ordering the Israelites to enter the promised land slay the unbelievers right but we taught you guys that you should not be stressed when they talk or mention the story in the book of Samuel, right? Tell them, go to the Jews, go to the Israelites. We are not under that old covenant. If you want to talk about it, go to the Jews. We are under the new covenant. The old covenant, the old Mosaic laws are fulfilled by Jesus, through Jesus. Glory to his name. We are then under the new covenant and the new covenant teaches us that we should even love our worst enemies. God forgive them for they don't know what they do. That's what Stephen, the first Christian martyr said. God bless him. God bless his heart. God forgive them. Right? Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. What is more beautiful than the, the, the teaching of Christ? Glory to his name. Do we have any Muslim? Before we go, do we have any Muslim who wants to stick to the topic of today? Muhammad Qasim, the right way, Muhammad Qasim already spanked many times by me. We don't like to spank the same kids over and over, man. We need new fresh blood. Seems that we are out of Muslims, guys. He wanted to attack a biblical translation. This guy has no clue what he's talking about, man. And you heard him. I mean, if, if, if you're an Arabic speaker, just rewatch the video. His, he, he claims to know Arabic, but his Arabic was really bad, man. And this guy dares to, to make videos about me, trying to refute me. Go learn Arabic first before you try to refute me. Your taqiyya is not strong enough, my young padawan. <laughs> Your taqiyya is not strong enough. Yeah, I know, uh, Andrew. My throat is gone. I, I, I'm not kidding. <clears throat> but anyway. Oh wow, almost three hours today. A live show for almost three hours. Thanks to the Lord, guys. I hope really, I really hope that you enjoyed our today's live show, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations. God bless you. Islam is false. Muhammad is a fake prophet and Jesus is Lord. Every knee will bow and proclaim that he is Lord, including the Muslim knees. Please come back home to Jesus, Muslims. Everyone needs Jesus. I need Jesus. You need Jesus. No one can help you. Muhammad is dead and rotting in his grave somewhere in Medina. He even asked Allah his fake man-made moon idol. He asked him to save his father and his mother. Allah kept silent. The mother of your fake prophet Muslims is burning in hellfire. Your prophet said clearly that he doesn't know what Allah would do to him. So if your prophet doesn't know what Allah would do to him, where is your salvation? Where is your guarantee? But the Quran teaches that every Muslim eye will see hellfire. You Muslims will see hellfire according to the Quran with your own eyes. What kind of empty promise that is? What kind of empty salvation that is? Please come back home to Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Thank you for watching, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. Jesus is Lord and Islam is a man-made cult and false. Lord willingly, we will see each other again very soon. God bless.